Hi guys, welcome back to Bogies Backyard Golf. If you're a subscriber, you may have seen a previous video that I put out on this gadget here. This is a, a mini macro keypad that I put together and programmed through mapping shortcut keys from GS Pro over to this device. It allows me to keep the controls on my hip as I play. Very convenient. It's nice and small. I do have I do have multiple control boxes, but I just found that this was so much more convenient and easy having it on my hip at all times. Really like it. Super convenient, and I've been using it every day since I put it together. There are other options out there and free options. So if you have an iPad or any tablet, Android or iOS, there's software called Stream Deck. I have Stream Deck installed right now on an iPad, and I'm going to show you how I set it up to work in my golf simulator environment. Now, the other reason I'm looking at alternative options for controlling the simulator is we are opening a facility next year here in my local town with four sim bays and Having these, I could see, you know, if you drop, I know for a fact, if you drop it, the button's going. And I've dropped it a few times. It's my keypad. I'm going to find the button and put it back together. But I don't see these being the greatest answer in a commercial facility. Because they're going to get broken. They're going to get lost. It's just not a great idea. So I need something that is a little bit more permanent and user-friendly. Now this requires separate software. It's a little cumbersome, but it works. With the iPad and the Stream Deck software, everything is in one place. So let me show you how I set it up. I'll take you through it, the shortcuts that I created for GS Pro, and I'll show you how to set it up on your own. So here's the iPad. It's an iPad Pro with a 12.9 inch screen iOS 18 is installed. This is the Stream Deck software for iOS. Now keep in mind, it's available for Android as well. And there's a desktop version also, which you will need to install when you're ready to set this up if you plan on doing so. Software is free to download. Let's take a look at the icons that I've created. So for demonstration purposes, let's just show you how this works from this view. So first, I'm going to hit the flyover key. Shot cam. And you just hit it again to bring it back. The same as you would on your control box. Heat map. Aim point. This is to change your club to the putter, mulligan, scorecard, up and down arrows. Here, I'll show you how that works. So let's hit the shot cam. We can move the arrows. And you see if we arrow right and left and forward and backwards. And we'll hit the shot cam again to bring it back. Go to ball. This is free look. We've got volume up and down. I did something a little different. This is what I really like about this Stream Deck software. What I really like about it is everything is in one place. And the shortcuts that you can create are you know, really useful. You'll notice I have SGT, which is Simulator Golf Tour. I have YouTube set up, and I have, you're probably wondering what that Masters icon is. Let me see the Masters icon. So the Masters icon listen.
It's a one hour audio clip. Kind of nice to have playing on Master's Weekend or something, but I just added that also for demo purposes. I'm going to keep it. I think it's pretty neat. YouTube icon. That'll bring me right out to my YouTube channel. SGT. You'll hit that. Watch the screen. Now we're at SGT. I can check out tournaments. I can register for events, check out stats and leaderboards. So that's really nice that we can add these features as well. This is very simple to use, very simple to install. Let me show you how to do that now. If you decide you want to play around with this on a tablet, very easy. I'll show you how to do it now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, iPad. You want to go to the App Store and you're going to search for Stream Deck Mobile. Elgato Stream Deck Mobile is the one you want to choose onto your iPad. You're then going to go to the desktop and you're going to navigate to elgato.com. You'll see downloads in the top right corner. Scroll down. You have the option for Windows or Mac. In this case, we're going to look at Windows. You're going to click here to download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to open the desktop app. You'll be prompted on the iPad to scan the QR code on your desktop. Once you scan that code, your iPad will sync with your PC and you'll be connected. This is the only way it's going to work on the iPad is through the desktop. Also, keep in mind, both need to be on the same network. So your tablet, iPad, and your PC or Mac, they need to be on the same network. Now, as you can see, I've already installed. I've created some hotkeys from GS Pro and made some icons really quick. These probably aren't going to be permanent, but for now, they will do. Now, I do have the Pro version, which gives me up to, I believe, like 64 shortcuts. I'm going to work off the default profile, and we'll start by setting up some hotkeys. So all you want to do is navigate over to the, to the right here, and you're going to see hotkeys. Just drag that up. Let's bring it over here. You'll see the outline. That means it's active. And then here's where you're going to assign your keys. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a title. Let's call this flyover. And then you click on this field here. It's going to wait for you to type in the key. Now, if you'd rather select a key, you click the drop down arrow, depending on what it is. Now I know this is the flyover is O. So in that case, I would head up to alphanumerics and then head down to O and it's assigned. I could also just type O and it will assign it. So flyover is done. Let's do shot cam. So we'll call this one shot cam. And that's going to be J. Let's go with Mulligan. And we know that is Control M. So we're just going to click on Control and M. And it's assigned. So there's three. Let's grab another one. Oh, let's add a couple more here. Let's try scorecard. And we know that is T. How about fast forward? And we know that is the space bar. Those are the hotkeys and the assigned shortcuts from GS Pro. We have all of these functions available to us. We can put audio files in here, create links to websites, video, very user friendly. Let's add the website, show you how that works.
Let's go PGA Tour. Okay. Now, as you're doing this, you will see this all come to life on your iPad. So they will match. You'll notice any website that you type in, Stream Deck will pull the favicon and give it a small thumbnail. Let's highlight it and head down here to the drop down. And we want to open up the Stream Deck library. So here you'll see basic icons, pretty good selection. Now, if you'd like to create your own, you can create new icon and head over to the key creator, which is available on Elgato's website. You'll see several more icons here. This allows some customization. So you can pretty much create whatever you'd like here. And they do have a, a filter with different categories. So that's your second option. Now, very simple to add your own artwork here. Shot cam. Let's add an image to shot cam. So let's click on it. We'll make sure it's highlighted. We'll head down to the system area. And we're just gonna navigate to the folder where we have an image that we'd like to use for that button. So here's one that we're gonna select. And there it is. All right, that's gonna wrap up tonight's video. On the Macro Mini keypad, I'll leave a link to that video in the description here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you're thinking about doing something like this with a tablet. Thanks for watching guys. Keep those drives straight. Keep those putts rolling true. See you in the next one.